Style Rock. Stanno per iniziare i 15 minuti più eccitanti e più esaltanti che si possono immaginare perché qui a Virgin Radio abbiamo in collegamento Bruce Springsteen. Hi Bruce, how are you doing? Very good. Very good. Thank, first of all, thank you because you saved my life many years ago. Uh, you can't even imagine what you've done when I was a young boy, so God bless you always. <laughs> Uh, Thank you. Let's talk about this new wonderful record, which is to me not just a collection of songs, but more a concept album, because you keep on telling stories about normal people, as you've ever done in your career, but with soul music. But to some extent, to me, it's always, uh, and it's also a rock record, because they're inside uh, rebellion, uh, um, joy, pain, uh, grief, uh, almost everything. And maybe it's not by chance that you started with the song that was sung by Jerry Butler and Elvis Presley. Oh, you're right, you're right. I forgot that Elvis sang Only the Strong Survive, you know? Uh, I got to hear that. I haven't heard that, that version in a long time, but uh, uh, I got it from the Jerry Butler, uh, from the Jerry Butler song. And um, uh, it was just a great title. I recorded almost all the records. And uh, then at the very end, I heard only the strong survive. And I said, that's a great, I'll use that for the title of the next record, you know. But John said, no, that's a, that's a great title. We should cut that and use it now. And so it was one of the songs I cut very last, and it became the title of the record. Beautiful song. And, uh, 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 you know, just, just. Just, just a great version of it. There was a time where Motown and Stack Records were the heart of America, I would say, not only black America. Uh, would you, I mean, were you more towards uh, the sound of Detroit or the sound of Memphis, or you couldn't choose? I like them all, you know. Uh, I really, uh, I got a little special place in my heart for Motown because uh, It was such a powerful piece of music when I was back in high school. Everybody in school loved Motown music. White kids, black kids, uh, you know, kids that dress like rockers, kids that dress like rah-rahs. Everybody, uh, uh, everybody responded to Motown and soul music also, you know. So uh, it was just very, very, I have a lot of very powerful memories from those records back, back in the day and uh, the place that they... They had a very important cultural place uh, in the nation in the 60s and 70s. Do you remember the very first time that you heard uh, soul music? I'm trying to think. I think the first time that I began to listen was when I began to play. My, I, no, I'd say my mother had the radio on in the kitchen and I'd hear it when I get ready for school in the morning. You'd hear whatever came across Top 10 Radio. But then when we went to play, when I had a small band, The way you used to get hired was someone would call you up and they'd say, do you play Soul Man? Do you play Mustang Sally? You know, uh, and you used to have to say, because that's they want to hear them this Friday night at the fireman's ball. So before Friday night, you had to learn Soul Man and you had to learn Mustang Sally and you had to learn... Uh, um uh one of the supremes classics and you had to go and play them so to get a job your job was to learn the current records of the day so i studied these records as a teenager inside and out very very intensely and uh sang them a lot in those days this record is also a tribute to, to some great voices uh, uh but those names uh, are not that popular in Italy or in Europe anymore compared to Sam Cooke, Marvin Gaye or Otis Redding. Um, is that the same in America? And was that a conscious effort to do, how can I put it, justice to some great voices? Well, I, really, I just, I just picked the songs I liked. Uh, there are guys that say like, like a Jerry Butler is not as well known as a Marvin Gaye or a Smokey Robinson or something, you know. But... Um, The, I, I tried to blend the material that I used. I used a, f a few classic things that were really well known, like I Wish It Would Rain, 
uh, Don't Play That Song has been a hit several other times. Um, what Becomes of the Broken Hearted was a, has been a hit several times for a variety of people. But there's a lot of songs like Night Shift or Soul Days or Do I Love You uh, or Western Union Man that were really most people aren't going to know. They, they'll probably be hearing them for the first time. You mentioned uh, I Wish It To A Train, um, which is probably the most melancholic song by Temptations. And there's a line that says that a man ain't supposed to cry. I don't agree. You surely don't agree because in your previous songs, there are many men crying. Uh, yes. And I personally cry all the time. So I don't take that part of the song to heart. <laughs> because a, a man <laughs> has the right to cry for good reasons or, or, or bad reasons. I mean, because, she, because he's happy or because he's not. But it's not something... That's that, right. Okay. Another... Um, but another... for the song... <laughs> but for the song, the idea is that he can't cry unless it's raining out and he goes out into the rain... That's a great metaphor. It is. And there's, <laughs> and there's a lot of rain and crying in your previous songs, again, all together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there is. Um, Night Shift was written about uh, Marvin Gaye and Jackie Wilson. Marvin Gaye was a great singer because he could sing about love and social issues, uh, like what's going on. Um, Jackie Wilson was named the Black Elvis. If you had to describe in few words their greatness, what would you say? All right, well, as far as a performer goes, no one's ever beat Jackie Wilson. Jackie Wilson voice from heaven, understated, one of the smoothest movers you've ever seen. I mean, if you get a, get a film of him on stage somewhere and watch how he moves, incredible, athletic, you know, unbelievably athletic. I mean, you know, Jackie Wilson was simply one of the, and he's underrated to this day. He doesn't get, he doesn't quite get the, attribution for his uh, 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 the amazing talents that, and, and voice that he had. So uh, he's really, uh, uh, was an incredible artist, you know. What about Seven Rooms of Gloom, which is marvelous? Seven Rooms of Gloom, see, that was, that was one, there were so many other more well-known Four Top songs, and I tried a few of them, but I said the one that is, was kind of a B hit, uh, people didn't know that well, that was wildly psychological, insanely intense, is Seven Rooms of Gloom. The song starts out, I see a house, a house of stone. Right? He, 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 just, Levi starts at the song, starts out with a shout. He just, I see a house, a house of stone, a lonely house, you know, because now you're gone to seven rooms, seven rooms of gloom. And the song takes that, it's pounding, pounding, relentless, and desperate. One of the darkest Motown songs ever released. Was it difficult to choose the songs? I mean, you said that you, you went to the most beautiful you know, songs that, that you liked, but maybe there was something more. Uh, did you have many songs and among them you choose them uh, 15 or, or that, that was that? I have 15 songs, 40 songs I, I left on the floor. Hmm. So that'll give you an idea how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say just one title just to know what we were missing? Oh, what are you missing? Um... Let me see, what did I cut that we didn't use? Uh, well, the first record had a little bit of a rock thing to it. I'm um, trying to think of a, 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 a soul title that we didn't use. Um, blank, 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 blank. Uh, well, there was like, I sang a Jimmy Webb song called All I Know. And that was for the other, a, rec a different kind of record that I was making. Came out really good, couldn't use it. Um, I chose a lot of songs by artists that most people don't know, so there's not a lot of familiar titles. 
but I there was there was quite a few of the other soul songs that I gave a shot to and didn't work out, and they're all slipping my mind at the moment. So sorry. <laughs> Do you believe that music in general, rock, country, traditional folk, soul, can still change our lives and save our lives? I believe it does. That's what all music does. All art does. Uh, art has that power. It has the power of to resurrect you, to resurrect your spirit, to resurrect your imagination, to resurrect your intelligence, to resurrect your physical body. Music, for some reason, is breathes its, its breath into us, into our mouths, into our souls, into our hearts, into our bodies. And it, and it just really uh, enlivens and enriches and and brings us to another level so i'm a deep deep believer in the physical spiritual emotional cultural power of all types of music and what? all types of art one great thing that you've been doing throughout all these years is growing old with us um as your approach towards music uh, changed throughout the years i mean uh, listening to and uh, making music no, I still do it the same way I did it when I was 16. In other words, I'm gathering everything that I have. I'm absorbing it. I'm trying to have it become a part of who I am and what I do. And then when I see you, I'm trying to boom, let it out, you know, and like a like dynamite and hoping that I can charge you and charge your life and change your way of living, thinking, seeing the world, falling in love. Uh, I believe music can do all those things, and I think that's my job. Would you play some of these songs uh, live next year when you're coming to Italy? We probably will. Hmm. I'm not sure what yet, but we'll play, we'll play some stuff. Everyone is so eager to see you live down here. I know that you love Italy, so we expect yeah. them. <laughs> We're excited about coming. Um, very excited. Um, when did you start uh, thinking about this record? I mean, which which time of your life? Is uh, something that happened years ago, months no, ago? I wrote uh, a record called Letter to You, which I recorded with the band a year or two ago. And uh, I knew I was done writing for a while. COVID lockdown was still here in the States. I have a studio on my farm. So I wanted to continue to record and to do things, to do some musical work. So I just went in and I started to play around with the idea of singing some songs that I didn't write. And that was the size of it. Uh, the last question uh, is, uh, is music still the greatest vehicle to um, comment the society and the private aspects of our lives? I think so, you know. I, I, well, I think art is, you know, but music because... Music is so uh, concise. If you go to a film, it takes you two hours. If you go, you're going to read a book, it's going to take you, maybe it'll take you a couple of days. You, you want to hear a song? Give me three minutes of your life. That's all I want. Give me three minutes and I'll change your life. Three minutes. So music, we, that stay yeah, with so us. Music, mu music is unique like that. Thank you so much for being with us. God bless Thank you. you. And hope to see you very uh, soon when you're coming to Italy. We'll see you soon. Ciao, Bruce. Ciao. Virgin Radio. Style Rock.